In today's video, can we continue our march against the Romans? Are they going to come and completely wipe us out with a filthy large army? Well, we're going to have to stay tuned to find out. Whilst also cleaning up some of our borders along the way, potentially the score Disky and the Laburnie as well. And if you are enjoying this series, guys, please do make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are continuing our Let's Play as the RDAI in RTR Imperium Surrectum and we are at war with Rome and I wanted to take a little bit of time just to, you know, consolidate where we are, let you guys know where we are in terms of the campaign. We are 17 episodes in, of course. We now control 81 regions. We have pretty much taken out every single other Illyrian faction, the Labeateans, the Decitiates up here. Uh, we've taken out the Isaians as well, the Greeks, the Delmate, and nearly the Liberni, um, the History, I swear, oh, the Dardanians as well. Yeah, I was going to say, I swear we're missing them. And all that's left is the Illyrian Kingdom and one or two settlements of the Liberni as well. So not many at all. We are sending this army up north to take out the Scordisci. Honestly, looking back at this decision, it's probably wasn't the best decision. I think I should have just gone full out on Rome, but it will be nice to take some of this uh, more fertile land that is quite close to our capital, so uh, that will be good. This is a distraction down in the south. We do have another army basically nearly ready to go, and this army, of course, will get retrained as soon as possible uh, and then once we've taken out the Laburnie I'm thinking of fort walling up this whole area guys so um I know it's a bit of an exploit and I have mentioned that before that's why I wasn't so keen to do it down here because the AI just doesn't really know what to do when there's forts around but honestly I feel like it's fine uh, because it's going to stop us going to war with the Boyai who are our ally, who will just attack us randomly and never want to cease fire. So it would be a war that lasts forever and take us all the way up to about here, which is just really not something we want in this campaign. I want to focus on Rome. I don't want distractions elsewhere. So if they want to attack one of my forts, fine. But we are probably going to fort wall it up as well. In terms of our recruitment hubs, we are building them up. Once a rated Darmon, or known as Patavium previously, gets to 12,000 population. That is going to be a serious, seriously good milestone for us there. Um, and that's going to allow us then to train all of our troops in our fourth tier here. Uh, so that is good. We also need to control 15 cities to get the Illyrian Epileptoid, which are our best unit. And at the moment, let's just have a look. Let's sort it by level. Go all the way to the top. So what do we have? Four, eight, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got twelve. So we're actually not too far away. We just need to conquer a few more. But anyway, guys, I think that's everything apart from we are going to move this guy down. And final thing I wanted to say was I am going to keep training horse archers in Idarba. And if we have anywhere else that can recruit horse archers, we are going to go for that ASAP because I don't think here does. No. If any up here do that are also Getic settlements, then we are going to be training horse archers because I want to send a horse archer army into Rome and just devastate them with that horse archer army. I think that's going to be the best option for us. So we're going to try and train them a little bit faster. But anyway, I have waffled on once again. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, end the turn there, guys, and see what happens. Well, we may have allies in Italia, and that is Taras. Alliance and trade rights with Taras. Oh, thanks. I am 100% going to accept that. They actually got rid of their alliance with the Romans for that, so maybe Taras is gearing up for a little attack. Mm, maybe. We'll see. Another candidate for adoption? Absolutely, we are going to uh, take that. I believe we might need another general some point soon, especially for the army down south. So I wonder where he uh, he was taken. 
Lyskos. Oh, he's all the way up here. That's actually quite good. I don't mind that at all because these cities, I do want generals in them. They help with fertility if they have good traits. This guy actually has two uh, management traits. So you can see he's got plus one fertility, which is very good. Not too many interesting traits as of yet, but they will, of course, keep growing. The thing is, these Romans have attacked us here at this fort with an absolutely damaged army after they've taken Atria. And our plan, we are going to just hug this east coast, guys, because we are then close to our ships to get back across. We do want to sort of keep upgrading uh, and getting more and more ships because the Roman ships are going to be better than us. <laughs> Quite considerably. So, uh, yeah, we do really want to just keep on getting more and more ships just to make sure we can move freely through all these uh, ship territories. Fortunately, we, we can't retrain these... Oh, we can't retrain those Greek hoplites. They need to get retrained at Epidauros, most likely. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go and have a look at that. Uh, it is Epidauros, right? Oh, we can get trained at Nerona. Yeah, Nerona. So, uh, yeah, let's take them to Nerona. In fact, we'll take the whole army to Nerona because, of course... They are waiting to join up with this army. Unfortunately, I've gone a bit too far south to retrain these Northern Illyrian cavalry guys. But let's uh, retrain the rest of them. Uh, and then let's retrain those Greek hoplites. Fantastic. Is that everything? So that is 10 troops in there. And that is 10 in there. So we are missing a couple of troops. Was there anyone else that was retraining? You guys have got... Three Epibartai? Okay, well, here's your next Epibartai. So that's one. There should be an extra unit as well, though. Maybe we just pick up uh, a mercenary uh, unit as well. Now, we do have a few of these sort of uh, garrison troops around. And I want to keep on recruiting garrison troops. So what we're going to do is we are going to recruit in either Lissos or... This one, let's go with the Lebeate and Light Infantry. I'm going to queue up two of those. And we're going to queue up two levies here. They're going to go across on the ships. Across to here to become garrison boyos. When do we want them to be? In terms of the rest of the garrison troops, they are all making their way around this way. In terms of the troops in the north, though, I don't know what we'll do. But let's uh, take uh, Scarbantia up here. Let's just auto-resolve that. Shouldn't be too bad. And... Let's just occupy. That is the Laberni dead. Okay. That is very good. That is very, very nice indeed. Let us uh, repair these buildings up here. Don't think... Mm, I'll keep that city barracks, actually. It would be quite nice to uh, build a recruitment hub there, just in case. So, uh, yeah. We are going to uh, pop out of here. How bad is it? It's not bad at all, actually. It's not bad at all. What mercenaries are available? Literally every single one in existence. So, that's a lot of money for those mercenaries. But we can get some more. So, we do actually have a watchtower here. I kind of want another watchtower over this way. Just to see what's going on. There we go. And we're going to just put, like, a couple of forts out here. Although, we might not have enough money for two. We've just got enough money for one at the moment. Well, this general then, this uh, Arated Darmos the Praised. Great name, actually. <laughs> Arated Darmos the Praised. He's going to stay here. I'm going to leave these three mercenary guys. And maybe we'll just put two forts out. And I think that should be enough to sort of deter the enemy. Let's just uh, do that. Get rid of some of these rebels along the way. And the rest of you guys are going rise on and the Greek land. So we are going to pass through here anyway. So let's keep on coming all the way down. In terms of this army, I do, this is the last chance to make a different decision about this army. Ah, I really don't know. That is the problem. I mean, it would be nice to, to clean up the score disky, but honestly, if, I just feel like, I just feel like if we're going to fight the Romans... Why mess around with the Skordisky? If we really have to fight the Skordisky, we can probably gather up this army. And I'm wondering if we attack that, will they stand and fight? They will. They are idiots, man. They are stupid. <laughs> really? 
don't stand and fight against horse archers, guys. Big tip. Big tip. <laughs> Um, I mean, unless you've got a, a, a very nice hill, or you're going to use some some cheeky little tactics, then, uh, yeah, probably don't do that. But anyway, let's get into this battle, guys, the first battle of the episode. Let's go. So, for this battle, guys, I am going to keep all my horse archers together for now. Um, and I'm going to focus on the cavalry. They've got noble cavalry there as well, so we're going to focus mainly on getting rid of them. Uh, and yeah, we're going to focus on them and keep the rest of our cavalry together. They might try and chase us. So for now, actually, I'm going to walk these guys, make them not too tired as of yet. Well, here we go, guys. They look like they're maneuvering around a little bit. I don't know what they're doing, but this is predominantly going to be just firing at them. Apparently, that slave slinger was able to get some shots off then. That's rather interesting. I didn't think they would have the range, but then again, you've got to remember... Horse archers often with this circle have a bit worse range than uh, than you would expect. We do also, of course, have these guys. Now, do I want to bring them into the fight? That's the problem. They, they will get charged, I believe, if we bring them into the fight too early. So I am going to leave it for now. Well, here comes the Thurio-Foroid cavalry actually charging us down. I just do love these, uh, these types of battles, you know. <laughs> Just the caginess of them, of the horse archer battles, trying to avoid the enemy, trying to get away. We are actually in a corner here, so it would be nice to kind of angle back out that way. I didn't actually realize we were that far into a corner. Oh, they're withdrawing. Okay, well, um, I guess we'll let them withdraw because that means they won't siege down the thing. And we'll just, we'll just shoot at them. That's, uh, you know, what we're mainly going to do. And we will bring these guys back this way if they are going to withdraw. But looks like they're going to try and fight us they did say they were withdrawing but it looks like they they decided to have a bit of a scrap surprised they were able to actually catch up to us they might be fast moving but they're heavy cavalry and we are just horse archers so uh yeah we can kill them though we can kill them that's nice and easy and i'll just let the rest of them withdraw really well, there we go, guys. We killed five to one. Not really amazing, but all it was uh, was just getting rid of these guys away from that settlement so they don't do that. Silliness, again, Illyrian Kingdom just really is cruising to get destroyed, aren't they? They really want to get destroyed. <laughs> and we actually got a man of the hour. Absolutely will take that. You Andros over here probably already has some good sort of um, traits for command if he is a man of the hour he's a bloody commander yet yeah, of course and a confident commander so not too many good traits but uh good enough good enough and what we should probably do here is try and combine a few of these guys hmm, yeah and maybe send these two back for retraining um no it's all the way up to idarba isn't it it's quite far you know uh, I think well, I feel like we keep them for now, uh, and then we'll get them in a bit. And in terms of anything else, is there anything else we want to do? Of course, this, this Brundisium, my friends. Ah, this is just so annoying. They've got three troops in there because otherwise, I would really want to auto resolve this. But I think what I'll do, guys, is I will do this battle and just sort of cut it out, so that uh, you know you don't have to see me sieging down against three units. But anyway, the first proper battle against Rome begins, my friend. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. It wasn't too difficult. We took a few losses. 52. Honestly, when it comes to fighting the Romans, like, we just have to be so tactical with what we do. I was really tactical. Surrounded the Principes completely. Then they routed. The Equites just died easily on the Spearmen. And then the Lucanians, we got them off the square. And they routed. So it's just about being extra tactical. When it comes to battle line versus battle line, that is going to be a completely different story. I think that's going to be when it becomes very hard. In this situation, we can kind of use our brain to our advantage. But battle line versus battle line, that's going to be difficult. And I think let's just occupy Brundisium because it should be Greek. No, it's Italic. Ah, oh! <laughs> I did think it was Greek for a second there, but it's a lovely little settlement. Lots going on here. We definitely want to repair the walls there as well. How happy are you? Agron, of course, is a three chevron 
gold chevron command uh, like unit now, which is just insanely good. Um, well, could we get a uh, like sort of a garrison troop across there already? Like, would you be able to get there? You would. And just about happy enough. Just about happy enough. And we can make it back. Very good. I am very happy about that. Hopefully, once we get more and more of these guys... Actually, I'm going to cancel that. We want the Lebeateans instead. Uh, what's it? Okay, we can train here too. So, let's make sure we pop that in. Now, the question is, where do we go? We're obviously not going to go after Tarentum. So, let's come up here. And like I say, we're going to try and hug that east coast, guys. We're going to try and hug the east coast. So we're going to go for Batuntum. There is a pretty large army here. Whether they attack us or not is a different question. Batuntum's a minor city. Canosium is a minor city. So is Brundisium. It's just upgraded to a minor city or it's come down. So that is fantastic for us. We are going to try and make this a recruitment hub, of course, as well. I need a little bit of cash for that. So, I mean, we could get rid of the Temple of Saturn. I don't think that's a good idea when it's only on 70%. And that will allow us then to build, to get Italic Triarii. Look how good these guys are. <laughs> Not as good as the Roman ones, mind you, but they are fantastic. Princopes, all that sort of thing. So that is going to be uh, pretty insane if we can get that. Um, but also, we need it just for Velites for our sort of, uh, of course... Um, for our garrison troops. But yeah, let's uh, let's keep on a going, my friends. Keep on a going. Is there anything else that we want to do here? Oh yeah, we need to pop at least one of these in into this uh, fort. <laughs> that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Um, and then what else do we have going on? I think that's everything, guys. So uh, let's end the turn there and let's see what happens. And the Illyrian Kingdom want a ceasefire. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, uh, how about some trade, guys, the for a couple of turns anyway until you attack us again? <laughs> well, the Akarnanian League is destroyed, but I knew this would happen. As soon as we moved our army, <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. God damn it, guys. God damn it. So I know I'm not building much at the minute, guys, but I think military is, uh, of course, the priority right now um yeah <laughs> thanks Pione. they were our protectorate by the way guys and now they've attacked us which is going to force us to border the macedonians which fighting rome and macedon can we do it i mean we could <laughs> do i want to do it <laughs> it's a different question where is this guy oh so he's in optigerium as well i think we're going to send him to feltria because feltria Although it doesn't look that rich right now, guys. Is getting another gold mine. And we want to reduce that corruption. Um, we did actually get siege down by the Romans. They are getting through now. So, yeah. It's probably going to be worth recruiting an army. If I don't... If this, if they build a ram, then we are just going to build... Like, recruit a mercenary army. Um, so, yeah. Rome has besieged a lot of things. We're a hegemonic power. Okay, cool. That's pretty good. Pretty nice. Nice to see that. Uh, so we definitely need that army up here in the north ASAP. So ooh, we could risk using the boats. Not sure that's a great idea. Does anyone else have a better one? <laughs> okay, so this is a full army now. Good. Do you risk using this boat? can only get to there, though. Well, we'll go to there for now. Uh, and then in terms of everyone else, that big army has had to go back north. These guys are sieging down Brundisium. So I'm thinking about doing the same thing. If I take Batuntum manually and cut it out, then we'll double back and attack Manius of Poseidonia. Interesting name, by the way. Very interesting name. And try and hold back the hordes of Romans. <laughs> Up in the north. Um, okay, you were going to become a garrison troop. I know these garrison troops are going to be expensive. I admit that. But um, probably worth it, honestly. So let's get those guys in there. 
You guys can come back. Where are these guys going? They're going all the way down towards Ryzon, aren't they? With Arata Darmos's army. Big Pins, who's been a, a solid number two man this whole time. Let's come back this way. He's going to die soon, Arata Darmos, unfortunately, as well. And, of course, we we did name somewhere after Agron, right? Have we named somewhere after Agron yet? Hmm. Well, I think, honestly, we need to rename uh, Brundisium after Agron. Uh, what, is a, what is a good name? <laughs> Agronisium? <laughs> that sounds terrible. That sounds awful. Uh, well, that's not, that's not a... Um, let's just call it Agron for now. That is not a sort of Celt... Uh, not a Celtic, an Illyrian name. So we have Permona, Delmium, Hedum... I mean, these are all Latinized names, so... Uh, let's just call it Agron. That is the Agron... Uh, Agron's uh, place. If you do have any good sort of Illyrian names, like... I think a great name would be like Agron's Landing or something like that in uh, sort of ancient Illyrian. Whether that's possible or not, though, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that would be fantastic. Right, we'll uh, send these guys across this way, too. And is there anything else we want to do this turn? Well, there is that battle. So, I think first let's do our battles. Then we'll do our building. So, I am going to go after Batuntum to start with. And, again, I'll just do this probably off-screen, guys. Because it's going to be relatively easy once again. Well, that was actually a little bit harder than the last one. Obviously, with three infantry units. They did actually manage to block off a couple of things. But uh, overall, still a nice little victory. And we still have plenty of troops to have a go at this Roman army. So let's see what we can do against it. I'm not hugely confident, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I think we'll win. It's just how damaged are we going to be at the end. And I think, once again, let's just occupy and again this is a very nicely upgraded settlement look at that we will be getting rid of um oh maybe not the temple of mars hmm we will be getting rid of some of their temples etc but uh for now yeah we are good and then who do we want to leave behind who is the most useless probably this unit let's uh combine him into the others so there's only 18 left he does have a silver experience so we do want to come back for them at some point. Unfortunately, not the best right now. So let's uh, go with that 55%. Hmm, this is why we wanted to maybe enslave. I think... Let's go for some Lucanian infantry. Let's get them in there as well. 65. That's going to be okay. And let's go for Manius over here. What does he have? Okay. Only one unit of Triarii. That is the worrying unit. So, yeah, this should be okay. This should be okay. One unit of Triarii, a bit of cavalry. Obviously, they have the cavalry advantage. Honestly, I just can't wait to get a, um, a horse archer army over here. That's going to be so fun. But, unfortunately, we are at least 20 turns away from that because we only have one settlement to recruit them from. So, uh, yeah, it'll be fine, though. Let's go, guys. Into the Romans! Well, I've got to say, this certainly feels momentous. The first battle with the Romans. Here we go, boys. We're going to try and get into place pretty quick because first things first, I want to start taking out some of their units with Arisayan Epibarsai. They are a fantastic unit, this unit so far. They've been very good in Illyria. Against the Romans, though, not going to be so good because they aren't actually armor-piercing. We would need, like, Rhodian slingers. Um... Or, you know, sort of Cretan archers or something if we really wanted to do damage to them. But it doesn't harm to do a little bit of damage first. Well, here we go. The first shots are getting thrown at the Velites. Should be killing quite a few of them there. Saying none so far, but I definitely saw some fall on the ground. I guess they did die already. But there we go. Straight into them. Don't think they're going to be too bad to deal with the Velites. We might even be able to scare them off here. Look, they have their units already set up. So, uh, I think we go and try and scare them off. There we go. And we're going to bring these guys forward slightly too. Same with you guys who are going to flank. The cavalry is the big worry for me. Because you can see, they have a lot of cavalry. And it's all pretty decent cavalry as well. So, yeah, here they go. They're already maneuvering their cavalry quite a bit. 
There we go. Look at that. Here comes the first charge. Can we withstand this charge from the Equites? Okay, we didn't do too bad. Didn't do too bad at all, actually. So, maybe it's time to start maneuvering our own cavalry. What do we have on this right-hand side? We've got a general's bodyguard who is uh, wanting to face off with us. So, we're going to chuck some javies at him. And these axemen are actually going to be pretty darn good uh, for, against the Romans. Because they are armor-piercing, remember, guys. They're armor-piercing. Here comes another cavalry unit, though. More equites. Get out of there, guys. Get out of there. We should use our speed for our advantage. There goes their general. So, honestly, what are they doing? They really don't seem to know what they really want to do at the moment. Let's fire... Where's that Triarii? Yeah, fire at them. They're the ones that we need to worry about. Come on, guys! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! God damn it. God damn it. Well, our General Agron should be able to deal with uh, those Equites pretty easily. We do also have this unit, but I'm not too bothered about bringing them into the fight. Not going to make much difference, are they, my friends? Let's uh, keep bringing these guys forward. We need to also move our axemen. I've been a bit sloppy this battle so far. Ah, too much going on, man. Too much going on. Right, 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 right. All of you guys back to help, okay? Back to help. We should be able to deal with them pretty easily, but um, overall, looks like we're doing okay. Has everyone thrown their jabbies? Well, that's fine. We will uh, keep on our march and then... You guys into there. If we can get behind, that'd be awesome. You guys just firing into, say, the Velites. Actually, no, that Lucanian infantry would be good. These guys have pretty much lost everything now. Here come some Velites. Let's uh, deal with those guys. There we go. Nice. And we have charged forward, men. Charge for Look how good their formation holds, man. That's insane. We are breaking some of these units, though. And here come the Velites. They are wanting to uh, tango. Come on, guys. Get out of there. Don't want to deal with that Lucanian. So let's keep on firing at them, especially in their back, if we can. That's going to be really helpful. Let's go and kill those Velites. Oh, they're already broken. Right then. We need to use our cavalry advantage now. Can we sneak past these guys? Can we sneak past them? Might get, uh, might get attacked in the Asian Epibartai by them. So you guys into the back there. And then uh, these guys, we're going to try and get into the back of the Hastati. There goes uh, Manius. Manius the Spanius. Imbecile. Imbecile, my friends. Imbecile. What are you, Velites? Yeah, our lack of armor here is really showing. It's kind of an ominous sign, I've got to say. Two of you in there. And the other two into the other ones. And I, I, honestly, though, the Greek Hoplites and the Thuriophore are holding the line a lot better than I expected. Here we go. Into the fight there. Get out, men. Get out. We can outrun these guys, no problem. So keep going. Just run away. Just run away. Okay, we've absolutely shredded those units. I think it's time. Is this the Triarii? Yeah, we're not going to charge them. That's going to be last. <laughs> Managed to kill this unit, though. Pretty much all of them. Okay, fire at them. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's charge into that final Hastati. And what do they have left? That's another Hastati. Don't break our charge, you fools! You fools! They're broken. Right then. Cavalry. It's time to tango with the Triarii. Here we go. This is it, boys. This is it. Right, well, what I want to do is probably send a unit out to uh, to deal with uh, some of these guys. I'm also going to send these guys off to chase down some of the enemy. Can you even get... I don't think you'll get all the way there, will you? Oh, well. And we'll keep our general here. So who wants to deal with the Lucanians? Okay, you're already in the fight. I think you two units, two Illyrian units, can go and deal with them. And you guys... Oh, we've pretty much nearly surrounded that Triarii fully as well. And they're not even breaking. They're shaken, though. Honestly, that's quite good. I was not expecting them to be that shaken. Lucanians are withdrawing, apparently. Uh, you guys get in there. Where is my general? Let's see if we can break that Lucanian boy. And uh, you guys into the Triarii. They're just so hard to kill. So very hard to kill. You guys in there, too. Yes, there we go. Oh, 
glorious, my friends. Glorious victory. The Triarii are gone. Finally. Well, there we go, guys. That might be the best KD we'll get against the Romans in a uh, big battle. So uh, <laughs> enjoy it while it lasts, my friends. Enjoy it while it lasts. We still did lose 276 men, but we still got an army of 1,500. So I feel confident that we can continue to push on if we really want to. So um, let's continue, guys. Uh, let's get off the battlefield. And of course, now we don't have any movement. We did get a trade increase. He's now a confident commander, Agron, which is very good. And like I say, I'm not bothered about mopping them up down here. I just kind of wanted to stay close to the coast. <gasps> well, hello there. Interesting that they didn't put any generals in those armies, but um, classic AI. Let's keep going for Canusium. I would like Capua, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Can't get too greedy here. Can't get too greedy, guys. We're trying to make a foothold, aren't we? So, now at Agron, let's build that in there. And then over here, let's also build that. That's going to allow Velite. So, that will allow recruitment of garrison troops on here. And then the rest, of our, the rest of our money, let's go from the back. So, Tariskium, let's get roads so we can move up there quicker if we need to. Chursus, probably not worth building anything there. Idassa, though, is a really nice little settlement. We did start building... Yeah, let's keep on going with recruitment because this is close to the Greek recruitment, so it'll be good for that. Let's go get some farming. What about a servo? Nothing really. A lot of these places are pretty, like, upgraded as much as we really want them to be. Epidamnos. We're already at Epidamnos, are we? Okay, yeah, Epidamnos is there. Let's just make sure we are building here. We aren't in Ereto Darmon, so yeah, absolutely we need to keep on building in Ereto Darmon. I wonder how much money a port would make. Let's just check that. <laughs> a thousand. Oh, but I need to I need to turn it down because we need this place to grow and become a recruitment hub. So what if I get to level four, what can I recruit? Can recruit level uh, noble cavalry with third tier stables. But I need third tier barracks for the noble spearmen. Either way, it's going to be a lot of turns, isn't it? Let's go for the cavalry and then we can sort of choose later. What are we building there? We are still building there. Did they build any rams? No, they built nothing. Useless, I tell you. Absolutely useless. Hmm. And Altidum is only a large town, so let's build that. And then we are still building in Opti Op Opitergium. Opitergium. I always get that name wrong. <laughs> right then. You guys have moved. You guys are ready to fight Pionia. Let's end the turn. But I think that is a successful turn of battling against the Romans. I think we will come to Venusia as well, because there's a nice river there. But like I say, I'm not bothered about getting squabbling down in um down here in magna gratia sorry i had a bit of a mind blank then but i will i do want to take a pool yet um so yeah let's uh let's keep on going and yeah i just oh, I love a horse archer army so so much do we have a general around here because i would love to see if we could generate a horse archer army oh this is like a actually a good little hub there we do have generals up this way so i'm gonna go here i should get stuck by something what is that? run away <laughs> god damn that's why that uh that watchtower is not working for us anymore can you get there you can so let's see. No mercenaries available at all. Are we in the settlement here? I believe we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, just there's the line. So yeah, there aren't any horse archer mercenaries available for us to take. That's a little bit uh, unfortunate, but uh, it's fine. I would love some because, yeah, just imagine running around these lands, like fighting these armies with a horse archer army. Even if we lose, it'll be fun. But anyway, guys... Let's end the turn again there and see what happens. Okay, so the Thracians want to become our protectorate. Their only enemy is the Tribali. So, oh, thanks. yeah, let's take that and we can actually see a bit more now. Tylus is constantly offering us an alliance. I, I don't just, oh, no, I'm just not interested in it, Tylus. 
Another candidate for adoption. Let's take him. And again, he is in this land up here. So let's take the best military option. So I think it is you. You have your single star. And let's see what mercenaries we can get. <laughs> Hold on. Great. Well, Patavium. Oh, really? Surely there's some in here. Okay, yeah. We're, we're just going to take them all. I know we're spending so much money on the military now, guys. But, um, not going to lie. We, we kind of have to. <laughs> we're going to take all of the troops that we can. Just to present force. Even if it isn't that much strength. Because, really, honestly, this is a pretty terrible army. That fort only has one turn left. But we have to fight that unit first. Let's also have a look at some of these other notifications. So, Plurati Polis now becomes a city. Very nice. Oh, we got two coming of age. We've got Era over here. Who is 16 and got three management. Pretty nice, actually. I kind of want to send him across. So, we're going to bring him here. Um, Hippo Darmos. Who goes into Petovio. I'm not averse to that choice of place because it's got 4,000 population. Um, Nysactium will be better though. So let's uh, let's get him out of Petovio, which is here. And you're going to go to Nysactium, my friend. That means we can then bring more of these garrison troops across. You guys are also coming across. There we go. Okay, so that's a lot of the things dealt with. We had civil disorder in two places, but Tuntum... It's up to 70% though now. And Singwadunum. That makes sense, like I say. Um, you guys can go back. You can go back. Hopefully you don't get stopped. Oh, you bastard. We'll run away from that. And for now, we're going to have to swap you into there. And only makes it 68% happy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, let's uh, let's build something for happiness there. We don't have much money left. <laughs> okay. A lot of these guys getting influence and happiness, which is actually fantastic. A load of them all at once, and I don't know why. So that got to level 2. You guys got to level 2-2. Two, two. Level 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to just pop that in for now. So we are building a military building there for the time being. Right then, we have this army. Okay, they did stand and fight. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they'd retreat, because this is not the army... Of the gods, my friends. <laughs> this is a pretty terrible army. Well, let's uh, keep on moving, though, while we are here. And we'll probably go for... I want to go for Venusia or Canusium first. Either way... Okay, that's got a general in, so uh, I'd prefer to go for Canusium. We are wreaking havoc behind enemy lines, which is very good. Haven't really... That, that big army that was there, I have no idea where it is. Doesn't seem to want to react to what we're doing over here so we do we are getting a few garrison troopers together so let's keep on going with that you guys we don't have enough money to deal with there uh, to get the next one also going to attack you guys which of course they're going to stand and fight aren't they what do we have to combat those fast troops yeah this is not an army set up to fight the thracians unfortunately that is a big issue with uh, with our armies right now. We have a lot of armies set up to fight the Illyrians, but none really to fight the Romans or the Thracians, either way. But uh, let's go on to Gnaeus Cornelius Scipio first, and let's go for this battle, guys. They don't have much. That is the main thing. They haven't got much. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. This army does feel a little bit like a rabble. Um... But, uh, yeah, what what can we do? <laughs> we shall bring our rabble to victory. Well, we're going to start by harassing them on the flanks with the uh, missile horses. Hopefully that's going to work. The gay city are over there, so I can't really get too close, guys, uh, until they're all dead, <laughs> which they're going to be all dead very soon. But uh, here we go. We are starting to harass them. And that is not because they are naked. Right, let's go with the rest of these guys. And, uh, come on, kill them. They're literally wearing no clothes, my friends. Literally wearing nothing. Are they going to withdraw? Yes, they are. You flipping cowards. Just nearly swore quite a lot then. You goddamn cowards. Come back here. Take it, man. Take it. 
I'm going to block them off here. Get in the Velites. What do they have? They have Prinkabays as well. That are getting shredded by our Javelins. And I think these cavalry is going to get destroyed. Obviously, you know, this cavalry is uh, pretty much mercenaries in a lot of cases. So, yeah, this whole army is pretty much mercenaries. So, yeah, it's not really going to be too bad, I don't think. Let's have a little rally from the boys. There we go. Let's see what this does to the Prinkabays. Okay, yeah. Prinkabays, it's all right to deal with, to take a, take a charge or two. You guys get in there. And, uh, yeah, I think we've nearly killed them all. Okay, we nearly killed that general just with uh, these sort of uh, terrible, terrible troops. But, uh, yeah, no. Silly Romans. There we go. That's another one of your family members dead, guys. How do you feel about that? Hopefully bad. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. Of course I lost the general. On the cusp of victory and we lose a general. Fuck's sake, bro. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully we get another general around here. Well, we do. We've got plenty of generals around here, so honestly, it's not too much of a worry. But a bit of a shame. A bit of a shame in the first battle. Well, there we go, guys. We only lost 47 men. Unfortunately, one of them was quite important. So <laughs> it's a shame, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Hopefully that now allows us to attack them. And unfortunately, it doesn't. So I think they are going to take that uh, that fort. Bit of a shame, but if they, uh, yeah, they just need to leave it, and they will have, will of course have taken the fort. Teste doesn't have a governor in anymore, but it does have a unit there still, which is good, of course. So yeah, I think we'll leave that Pionian battle till next time, guys. And I may even not even take it. Um. And just hope they back off. We do have a uh, diplomat around here somewhere uh, who I can use to try and maybe get peace with the Pionians. Are we allied with the Adrissians? No. I want to ally the Adrissians definitely because they're quite a big power now. And fighting the Thracians, not going to be as fun as we would like. But obviously, taking this Roman land, we are going to start getting richer. We've spent a lot of money now on like military for the last, for this whole episode, honestly. But, of course, like, it's going to pay off, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's going to pay off. We're going to take a lot of rich land. And let's have a look at the trade routes. Yeah, you can see these guys are close enough to trade with our own, you know, our own uh, settlements across the way, which is, of course, incredibly good. That's going to make us so rich. All the trade passing between these regions, that is going to make us so, so rich. So, anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.